Hey guys, Blamager here, and we're back with another episode of Let's Play the Bravely Default Demo. In the last episode, we finally took out the Anamantite shell, set up our jobs, and uh, first thing I'm going to do here is look at Norrend Village. Armor shop is now at level 2. So I only need to level up the armor shop one more time. I will put five people on it for now, because I want to uh, prioritize getting this one. Can I not make it any less than... Huh. I want to prioritize getting that one done twice in this video. And, uh... I guess I have one left for that. This will be fine. I gotta make this a 15 minute video. That's fine. So. Uh, I'm making it a point to max out Narend Village by the end of this demo because that is how you get one of the reward sets to carry over into the full game. But anyways, this next quest we can only get at nighttime. Oof, what am I going to do? Wait, you're the Wind Vestal, right? I'm in a real fix here. I don't suppose you could help me out a bit. And he wants me to defeat our third and final mid-boss, the Minotaur, from the Tower at the South. Oh, I'm so relieved. I do hope everything goes well. So, I will head toward that area. But first I want to check out the new goods at the uh, trader. Mithril shield. That'll be good for Tiz. Mithril helm. I'll actually get two of those. And I'll buy a full round of mithril gloves. to go. Now I'm not going to turn my encounter rate up to 200% like I did in the last dungeon that we went through, well the last two dungeons, but I will turn it to normal so that we can see some of the enemies as I go through this dungeon. Once again it's just a one floor dungeon so uh, let's set that encounter rate to normal. And there's a lot of uh, dead ends as you explore this dungeon. The enemies here are actually a lot tougher than the ones in the forest, so... Uh, that is something to keep in mind. But uh, they shouldn't prove to be any problem whatsoever for me. But I am going to speed this up. I don't want them taking too much of my time. So we'll explore this map here. Like I said, lots of dead ends here. It's just the nature of the beast here, y'all. Chompers! I haven't fought these guys in a while. So this would be the first place you encounter these guys if you don't grind up on them on the coast over there like I did. And uh, despite the fact that there are several dead ends, a few of them have treasures, and it's still mostly a straightforward dungeon. Ah, 
What can I say? I'm going to be done with this a lot quicker than I was uh, hoping to be. But you know, that's fine. Mithril Rod. That will be good for... Edia. And here we are at our boss already. And I do believe I have gotten the chance to show off all the enemies in here. Although I haven't necessarily gotten to show what they can actually do. Uh, one thing I did want to talk about before I go take on this boss here is, uh, where is it, where is it? Uh, buildings. I found out what a buildings do, and I can't actually show it off here because I already mastered everything in the demo, but, um, a buildings lets you equip a character that you've gotten to use their ability as your sub ability whether you've trained in, t in that job or not. This can be really useful in the full game, particularly if you have uh, higher level friends. And then we got the, the friends. I guess they just show up as guests until you protect them. That's, that's what I'm guessing. No? Oh, wait. They show up as friends if they're in your friend list. Durr. Show up as guests if you just street pass with them. I'm not friends with my own, uh, other 3DS, so. Anyway, uh, maybe I'll be able to show that off in this, uh, upcoming battle here. Here we are, the Minotaur. Okay, this guy deals a lot of physical damage, so it's good to get some of these um, defensive abilities up and going on the first turn. Catch Me is great on a very defensive character, and it's probably a good idea to cast Protect on him. Well, no. Let's go ahead and default. And you also cast Utsusimi. Okay, there we go. Normal speed for this fight since it is a boss. So Catch Me will make Tiz the most likely target until it wears off in five turns. So now I will default. Actually, I will use his ability to grant a BP to someone else. There's transients in action. Alright, now everybody's maxed out, so... Uh, brave to the max. It's a semi. I believe I only need to do ikakase ik, ik, ik once, and then attack. Um, I don't want to use the MP, so how about I summon a friend to cast love power? And, uh, just attack. Uh, you, on the other hand. Uh, well, I would poison him, but I wasn't very successful for that in my normal run of the demo, so I'm just going to use his weakness, Fyra.
All right, we'll see how this plays out. I guess I only need to cast it. Iki I don't know how to pronounce it. I guess I only need to cast that ability once. So here's summoning a friend. He's probably going to die long before Ring of Bell gets to attack. Oh wow, he survived. Oh wait, Ring of Bell already attacked. Okay, never mind. I'm being dumb. Uh-oh. And she killed him with Fyra. Well, that works out. He was about to attack, and I think Catch Me had worn off, but, uh, I got lucky there. And that unlocked another, uh, another, uh, uh bonus for the full game. So I'm going to turn off my encounter rate again. And I will head out of here. And I'm probably gonna hang out for just a couple minutes here. So that, uh... Norind Village will be ready for an upgrade. Although I might have enough still left to do before I'm ready to end this episode. Without having to just stand around. Actually, I might have to just stand around anyway if I can't get back there before daytime. Am I gonna make it? Am I gonna make it? I made it! I think. Yes, yes, I made it. Alrighty. So let's turn in this quest. I heard from some soldiers who were headed to the temple that the food supplies have been safely retrieved. I can't thank you all enough. And we completed the quest. Alright. And there are no more quests here at night, as you can see. So, all that remains now... Well, I guess it wouldn't hurt to, uh... Stay at the inn after that fight. We got another quest available. And oh man, three minutes. Uh, yeah, I think I'm just going to cut until this is done. Okay, so when we get down to one minute left, it'll actually show the seconds left on the uh, town. But, more exciting than that, is what we can do once it actually completes and I have villagers to play around with. So, we will wait just a few more seconds here so I can show that off. And I'm certainly not needlessly padding out this video because, uh, I am Blamager and I do not needlessly pad videos. <laughs> that would not be very honorable. And I follow the YouTube Code of Honor quite nicely. But anyways, as you can see, we're almost done waiting for this to get done. Just a few seconds left, and... Five, four, three, two, one. And it's done. Alright, so now that I have more villagers to play around with, we see that this still has four hours and 44 minutes, and this has an hour and seven minutes. Um, I can actually add villagers to this to uh, totally decrease the time it takes by a butt ton. So I will put that at f 47 minutes there. Um, 
Uh, yeah, I don't... I don't want that many villagers on there. I've got eight left. Ten hours? I don't think so. So there we go. And now I can end this episode off because when we come back, all of this will be maxed out. And that's good because the next episode will be the finale. Anyways, this has been Let's Play Bravely Default Demo. I am Blind Manager, and I will see you guys later.